Hey, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Las Vegas Raiders. going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Right to the air is Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Rolling to his right. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And all the way in for a Kansas City four yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in Vegas. That's a tough combination to defend. You know Patrick Mahomes has the big arm, and he's got the elusiveness and the speed. So even though you force him from the pocket, he's still dangerous. Bad idea, in my opinion, to force him from the pocket. Do everything possible to hem him in and make him make the throws from right there in the center of it. And look, we outside. It puts so much stress on your defense, trying to locate where receivers are, make sure you're covering them, and he can throw the ball the length of the field. So you just tell a receiver, just keep going. He'll find him, and he did there. Pulls it in at the 13. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And the Raiders come up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. That'll get a little bit back, give him five on the run, and they'll be left with a third and 13. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Mike Burton taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. 
And a short kick taking it about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan, or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 44-yard line. Now here's the first carry for Amir Abdullah. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. To throw, it's Carr. And he comes back with one complete. On first down, Abdullah. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Try to run for it with Jacobs. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Once again, it's Jacobs. And a good gain here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second and six from the 10. Now Carr. Throw right side, gonna be caught by Waller. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Abdullah. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. To throw his car. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Keelan Cole, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have got it back to within a score. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. Following 
Getting the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, 82 yards. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now 21-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. A shotgun handoff. This is a duel. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. Second quarter action with 159 remaining. Throwing on second and eight. Carr flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Rolling to his left. Throw left side taken in by Renfro. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll try to run it in with Abdullah. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. Again, it's Abdullah. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Amir Abdullah. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. 
And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've got a little over 40 seconds to work with if they want to try to put something together. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Out to his left. And his throw's going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 43, 43. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way in for a Kansas that's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum, but not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. They'll look to throw here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Carr to throw on third and one. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Carr now on first down. A pass complete downfield to Renfro. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First down, Carr. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. The Raiders are going to have it first, and they trail here as we get back to it in this third quarter of action. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. As they begin their second half here, Charles, offensively, you know, not where they want to be, obviously. They're losing in this ball game, but very much within striking distance. We'll see what adjustments they make in the second half. 
Is that the old glass half full, half empty type of a deal? And which way do you want to look at it? Because you're right, they're down on the scoreboard, but they're definitely opportunities now because if they want to go ahead and get going in this one, get back to the running game. I think there are going to be some places to go with it, and I think the offensive line will appreciate the chance to fire out and hit people. That's a good point because they virtually had nothing going in the ground game in that first half. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. now on first down. Here's back-to-back -back catches for Devontae Adams. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, Jacobs. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Now here's a defensive timeout called by the Chiefs. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. And the last run got three, now here's second and seven. Now Carr. Touchdown! A pair of teammates at Fresno State connecting there. Derek Carr to Devontae Adams. And the Raiders have cut it back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Mahomes now on first down. Screenplay, McKinnon. 
Seven yards there on the first down screen play. They go play fake. Mahomes. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez-Scantling, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fields this way up at the 17. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown, but the defense gave one up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? On first and ten, here's Carr. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now Carr. Delivering another one here to Darren Waller. He's got it again. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a play fake, Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver. And he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. The car's throw pulled in by Renfro. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. The Raiders on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This time it's third and three. They'll run here. Abdullah. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Dancing to his left. That's complete right around the eight. And the Raiders are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. They run, Abdullah, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Amir Abdullah with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Hardman gonna bring it out of the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. The 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy on second and seven Mahomes and that is incomplete a lot of force bearing down on him there he could not hang on it's third down well you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend old momentum he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now and if you don't convert here guess what he's gonna make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. Right back to Edwards Alaire on first down. And some space here. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. A quick pass out to Juju. And his defense here going to burn their second time out. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two-minute warning. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. 